Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk about the end of the Reagan presidency, but the end of the Reagan presidency is not necessarily the end of the Reagan Bush years. Because in 1988, there's an election, and the Republican Party nominate George Herbert Walker Bush to be their nominee. And Bush, of course, was the vice president under Ronald Reagan. Now, the Democrats counter with Massachusetts Governor Michael Dukakis. And at the uh, very beginning, throughout the summer, it looks like Dukakis is doing well in the polls, but eventually Bush pulls ahead and has a pretty sound victory over Michael Dukakis in 1988. But who was George Herbert Walker Bush? He was, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most qualified men to ever be president in American history. Let's just take a look at some of his resume right now, if you will. Not only was he a two-term vice president under Ronald Reagan, but he was also at one point the head of the Republican Party, the United States ambassador to the United Nations, a special liaison to China. He was the director of the CIA. He was in the House of Representatives. He was a international businessman. And of course, he was a World War II hero. So Ronald Reagan is going to leave office in January of 1989. And of course, his vice president, George Herbert Walker Bush, is going to step in and be president. But before Ronald Reagan says goodbye, and before George Herbert Walker Bush brings America completely out of the Cold War, which we'll talk about in the next lecture, Reagan has his farewell on TV. In Reagan's farewell address, he talks about a theme that he had been speaking of throughout his entire political career, and that is America as a shining city on a hill, hearkening back to the old Puritan days before America became an official country. And Reagan spoke to the American people in his farewell address about what that shining city on a hill meant. And he spoke a farewell to the men and women of the Reagan revolution. And after George Herbert Walker Bush was sworn in as president, Reagan gets on his helicopter and begins his journey back to California. And that concludes the very successful presidency of Ronald Wilson Reagan. Now, interesting little facts. The George Herbert Walker Bush presidential inauguration was the very first presidential inauguration that I ever personally watched. I was in kindergarten, or about to start kindergarten. Well, that was 1989. But I remember watching it and seeing Bush become president, even though I didn't fully understand what all that meant. But the George Bush years will only be four years long, but they will be very consequential. And why will they be so important? Because America comes out of the Cold War, America becomes the lone superpower in the world, and American politics at home begin to change, which will be bad news for George H.W. Bush, even though he will be a very successful president in his short term as the leader of the free world. So until next time, have a great day, everyone.